Welcome to uh, the Bazooki lesson number two. Uh, in this, we're going to look at some of the right hand technique, hence the close up on um, the body of the bazooki here and on my right hand. Um, we've looked on a few a chord progression in D major in the fourth lesson. <clears throat> and from this, we're going to look at some right hand technique of putting a jig rhythm over it. Now, there's a lot on the, the internet out there that'll get you up to speed on the jig rhythm. To put it basically, it's a one, two, three, one, two, three count that you'll be doing as as you'll be playing. It is um, a six, eight beat meter. Um, but what we'll be doing in this one is, instead of the general down, up, down, up, down, up, which is the kind of the basic strong will be going for a bit more of an advanced so the basic it look like this but it will look more like this but we're going to concentrate <coughs> on a down up down down up down and possibly showing you an easier way of doing it the down up down is based obviously on going down up down but you're left in a down position here, so you're coming back to a down up down position again. So it's down up and down. And what that does is it creates a very sort of driving beat. Um, so as opposed to this would be the difference in the sound. So I went to down up down down up it. tricky bit is of course in the down up down is getting back to the starting position to start it again you have that split second where you have to get back and it is kind of an unorthodox, unorthodox way of doing it because your hand wants to be strumming on the way back up so the way around this which I found uh, is a quite handy way and a quite nice technique in itself is when we play the down up down we're not going to do a full down on the last one so we're going to go down up and then hit the top string so it's so instead of leaving our hand down here which with a lot of room to travel back up here we're going down up down and we're nearly stopping at the top string so we're going so down up down and we're only kind of hitting this string and it gives a nice ringing out of that D as well because Obviously, it's part of this nice open modal sound of uh, of the chord that we're playing. By the way, I'm just playing. Uh, oh, sorry, I have a capo one as well, which I didn't notice. Uh, we'll go again. I'm 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 just holding uh, uh, the seventh fret of the G string, which is a D D note, and then open D string, open A string, open D string. So it's D D A D. So it's like a D power chord there um, so we're going to try that in any way what we're going to be doing is down up down stopping on this I'm repeating that twice so it's and you see what that's going to take away is the whole down up down and being left down here and having to go so you're just kind of leaving yourself closer to the starting position. So it's and again, you'll be practicing this very slowly at the start. And over time, over the days, you should find yourself becoming a lot more natural and a lot, lot easier to build up the speed. And then of course we can walk in the chords um, that we worked on last week. Briefly it's the C and the A chord. Um, oh, sorry, the G there. Moving up to the A and then back to the finger on the seventh fret. You can go back to lesson one if you want to look at that again. So if you look at it, look at this even slowly, we'll try it for it. And 
find our speed will build up. It's sometimes hard to even play it slowly again. I've, I find it easier now. It's it's a lot more natural to, to just. Um, so that's something you can try there. If there's any questions on it, please comment. Or if you'd like to go through the website and send me a full message through that, there's no problem. It's www.darrenlynch.com. So please, um, if you can subscribe, let me know uh, the next lesson. There has been uh, people asking about uh, trying a song. Uh, so we could look at a song um, and look at different ways we can approach songs uh, through different keys. But in these small lessons, what we'll try and do is try to cover um, brief things in each of them and hopefully they'll come together and, and as you watch them and as we build on things, um, you'll find uh, all these aspects and techniques will come together uh, like the way we used our chord progression there from last week we used it in the jig pattern um, so let me know um, we could possibly look at stuff in the key of D so instead of Kappa 1 all the time um, so thanks for watching and we'll see you again for lesson 3